Hey guys, what's up and welcome. This is Matthew Singati, the designer and developer. I am so excited. I am done with my own UI library for React Native. If you know Shared CN, I have created my own version of Shared CN for React Native. Without wasting time, let me first show you and also show you how to install my package. If you don't believe it's on NPM, that means it's available all over the world. It doesn't matter where you are, India, Nigeria, everywhere, United States, China, Japan, everywhere. Let's just jump straight into it. As you can see here, I have connected my phone, okay? So these are the components that are available for you to use. As you can see, we've got an avatar there, um, a fancy avatar. So <clears throat> my apologies about that. The top name, which is this one, it's the name of the component below. So this component, it's a fancy avatar. And this is an input, as you can see, okay? This name has been like this for a reason. It's a input, okay? And also this one, it's a button. Why I've decided to do that? Simply because if you are using multiple libraries, there might be some sort of name collision and conflict. So that's why I've decided to put a, okay? The name of this library, it's Africa, okay? It's Africa, okay? Not with an F, but with a PH. As you can see, the, the identity, it's more like an African map, okay? With our African colors, okay? So let's continue guys, okay? So we've got the name there. Okay, okay, we've got the name. I'm receiving some messages, my apologies about that. We've got the name, as you can see guys, this is an input that you can copy and paste and use it in your own code, okay? This is a button that you can, you can style and give it colors and give it everything, okay? When you click on the button, it will just alert I am pressed, okay? This is also a variation of the same button. As you can see, it's orange. When you click it, also it shows you I am pressed. As you can see, this is just a simple avatar. My apologies about that. This is just a simple avatar and we've got a flexible image card, okay? As you can see, we've got a small card there. We've got some ratings, 10 reviews, okay? Um, there are some icons which are white there right beneath those numbers. So if you make your background black, then you can see. This is all customizable, okay? And it's available on NPM. You, you just um, type this command NPM I Africa and then this package will be installed. I have made it super simple for you to use this package. As you can see, this page here is not a page that I've created, but a page that comes with Africa. Let me just quickly show you how you um, render this page when you are done. After done installing, like running the npm um, i Africa command, you just go to your code. I'll just quickly check here. You just go to your code and then you put this showroom, okay? Let me show you how you do it. You just do like this, show room, okay? It will show you here, you can, uh, maybe my spelling is wrong, just a moment. Let's just quickly check, show, okay, show room, okay, show room, let's click here. As you can see guys, okay, it um, imported showroom from Africa and then this is a self-closing tag. And then when you are done, this will be shown in your React uh, native project. What if I remove this, let's say, as you can see guys, we are rendering a blank screen. It's that simple. What about customizing and using this um, library? Okay, let's, let me just show you undo, click save. So what you will do, you will just, uh, let me just wait for it to render. Okay, as you can see guys. So what you will do, you will just right click here. Okay, and, and uh, go to definition. Okay, as you can see guys, this is the showroom component okay let me just scroll in the showroom component and show you how can we customize this avatar okay let's just go uh, here go down 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 so here 
let's just press um, let's just type matthew okay so this is the the component okay the comp the name of this component it's um it's fancy avatar okay so the name is matthew coded let's save as you can see matthew coded has changed okay we've got the avatar title let me just type coded okay as you can see okay this has changed now it's coded and then from then the image url let's just go to the internet okay okay let's just search for steve jobs image let's just copy here copy image address and then we are going to paste it here okay as you can see um let me just scroll like this this is too long not much of a problem let me press enter uh still it's too long okay let's see what we can do from here okay then i will change this url and click save let's see guys as you can see this has changed maybe you're asking yourself what about the border the orange border let's continue guys and see how far i have went in trying to make this library flexible i think there is uh, a boolean here a boolean asking um da -da -da -da, has something something oh my god this is too long my apologies for that but let's see what we can do oh okay now avatar title we have um da -da 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 -da, it's coded okay let me just first remove the avatar title for now since it's um within reach if you don't want the avatar title you can remove it okay as you can see the avatar title is not there okay let's click undo okay and then um title matthew coded what if maybe we can remove this and the title matthew. okay let's only let's remove the title also guys my apologies about that so that you can see that you can customize this as you wish okay um let's see let's see let's see okay looks like let me put this here my apologies about that now i've got full access to this i want to see other props uh this is too long okay as you can see guys here are other props of mine okay you can change the starting gradient from orange to black save okay as you can see it start from black and then maybe the, the 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 end gradient to let's say green okay as you can see guys and then from then um the ig border to true okay if you remove this let's say it's not there boom as you can see guys we have just um removed the border what if maybe you want to remove the the avatar title you can use this okay you can just remove this as you can see guys highly um customizable and extensible how did i come about to create this obviously in my coding channel um in my youtube channel i create some clones instagram clone whatsapp clone so when i'm creating those clones i don't just create your simple clone where everything is in one place it's a spaghetti code i always use best and good programming practices okay so in doing that i've just realized that i've got some good components that i have created for a tutorial that i can reuse okay then i decided to collect all of those and i've packaged them and now i'm delivering them to you so what if maybe you are using this um ui library and you want to maybe put these in your own code what you will do let's say for an input uh, here is it okay a input you will just copy this code as it is and you will modify it as you wish let's change the width okay as you can see the width is too big okay okay let's change it to 100 okay as you can see guys you can change it to 100 the breakdown color you can change it the placeholder here is a placeholder you can put your own okay anything that you want to put here guys that's about it i'm not going to demonstrate everything because when you get here you can copy and paste these components okay guys this is the beginning this is the start africa is here 
react native component library and it's free okay obviously i'm going to update it from time to time and i'm going to put everything that i have okay tables list template for music so that if you want to create a music app everything will be here the best thing i can suggest to you please 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 subscribe so that you can be alerted when i release a new version of africa okay so that you can so that you can get um the tutorials on how to use it if you might want to be part of this movement or want to contribute with anything guys you can um shoot a comment below or you can send me an email obviously when we talk about an open source we are not talking about a one-man show and i know i am not good in everything i might be good in some things but there are some things that i'm not good at things like documentation things like um creating um or a website for documentation those are not the things that i'm keen to do but i will have to do them because i want this africa react native component library to go global i am matthew singati the designer and developer i have a video coming next where i am creating and saving this card component okay in the video that is coming up i have created okay this card component and live and it's very long guys and it's worth it i have shown you how i did this whole library okay how i'm updating it and also i'm showing you how to create a compound components because these are compound components let me just make you an example before i close the video okay let's just look at this uh, component okay um can't i quickly make the background black my apologies for that so that you can see everything that is going on here so that you cannot miss any detail okay let's go here and then from here um let's go to this container background color let's make it black here i want everything to be black so that you can see okay nice okay i want you to see this component okay as you can see guys this is the component and then let's go to that component here on the showroom look at how compound this component is guys okay first of all here it is it's a uh, flexible image cut and then what if maybe somebody might say okay i want the title to be at the top instead this is what you will do okay you just copy this and then you paste it on top of the image and then you save this is called compound component okay then somebody might say what if i don't want the picture to be there guys it's simple okay you can remove the picture okay the picture now is not there as you can see maybe somebody might say i want the social stats to be at the top or even um the rating are stars okay you just look for here and look for rating um star rating and you cut copy this and then you cut it and you paste it here okay as you can see guys now it is on top this is a compound component in the next coming video i think it's almost like three and a half hour okay i am going deep diving deep if you don't know um the concept of compound component in react and also how to create a scalable and a reusable code and also we have used chat gpt to give us a definition because we've got a lot of definition guys when it comes to terms and then we define according to how we know it so in that video i have used chat gpt to give me excellent concept like reusable code like code splitting and all of the things that are involved in component composition i don't usually recommend my videos okay but i recommend this one the three hour long one it's worth it i am unpacking react native this is matthew if you feel like this video that i'm going to upload the one that i teach about component composition doesn't deliver i will give you your money back guaranteed i've got you you are asking when did i pay you money matthew you are already paying me with your attention right now that's why it's my duty to give you back tons and tons of react knowledge and skills that will help you for getting a job don't forget to code badly with pride see you on the next one